This is a read from Time Valley of Tennis, and today we're going to work on doubles strategy. So with my finger pointing to the right, I'm telling my partner that I want his serve to the tee if I'm playing on the U side and at serve out wide when I'm playing on the ad side. If I have my middle finger pointing down, I'm telling my partner that I want to have the serve to the body. It doesn't matter if it's due side or that side. When I have the left finger down, I'm telling my partner that I want the serve out wide on the U side and to the T on the ad side. Now we're going to talk about the signals of go and stay. So if I'm showing my partner this kind of signal that we have in picture right now, I'm telling my partner that I'm going to stay. He's going to serve and I'm going to stay on the same position that I am right now on the same side. When I open my hand, that means that I'm going to go poaching so I'm gonna go all the way to the other side to try to catch my opponent's return. So it doesn't matter if we are on regular position or we are on Australian formation like we're gonna talk later, I'm gonna go all the way to the other side and try to take the volley. This way I'm telling my partner also that he needs to go to the other side to cover because I'm telling already that I'm gonna go poaching. If I don't tell my partner that I'm gonna go poaching, we're gonna go both end up on the same side and we're gonna have, have half court not covering at all, so it's going to be bad for us. This is an example of regular formation. So the server is serving from the ad side. We are in position on the left side of the court. And after he serves, depending on if I told him that I'm going or staying, if I tell him that I'm going, I'm going to go all the way to the right side, try to catch the return with my volley poaching. If I tell him that I stay, like I'm showing him on the picture, I'm just going to stay there and wait to get the volley. Now we're gonna work on the signals for eye formation. We can see a picture right now, an example of Australian formation on the U side. So when do we use Australian formation? Usually we're gonna use Australian formation to force our opponent to return down the line, because usually it's harder than returning cross -court. Or also if they have a good cross -court return, doing the Australian formation, we are taking that out of them, because if they return cross -court, they are gonna hit right to a net player. They usually don't wanna do that. This is an example on the U side, and when we are doing Australian formation, we are standing on the same side as the server. So the server is going to be serving behind us on the right side, and after he serves, he's going to go to the left side to cover the goal. You can see on picture right now an example of eye formation. On the eye formation, the net player stays in the middle, and after I tell my partner where do I want to serve, I also have to tell him on which direction am I going. So for example, on this picture, I'm telling my partner that I'm going to the right side. So after he serves, 
I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go right away to the right side. So that's why he knows that he needs to go to the left side to cover on the baseline. This formation creates a lot of pressure on the returner because they are gonna need to decide in a very short amount of time where do they wanna return depending on where the net player moves. Now let's see a few examples on a real match situation. <laughs> 